welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming a little makeup video. I don't really know what to call these. I guess I do a lot of like first impression type videos, so I guess I could call it that. But I had told you guys I was holding on to this package. I wanted to find time to like unbox it on camera. I was so lucky they actually gifted me the new Kaleidos palettes. So I was like freaking out because Angelica actually received these palettes in PR and she was like one of the first people to swatch them on Instagram. And the day she was like sneak peeking them, I was literally like at work just like freaking out. I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, because I love Kaleidos makeup. They make some of the best eyeshadow palettes. They're one of my favorite brands that I have tried out in 2019. As you can see, I have the other palettes right here, as well as right here. These are gorgeous. I meant to grab them um, to show you. I have a few videos where I use these. I bought these ones myself, and they're an American Asian brand. I think some of the owners are based in China, and I think some owners in the US, but these color stories are so stunning. I wanna do a ranking my Kaleidos palettes as well in the future, but I need to obviously try the new ones out before I do that. I think I've seen Annette's Makeup Corner do a ranking video. She's, she does a lot of it. That girl doesn't sleep, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, these are so stunning, so I was so, so excited when they told me they were gonna send me these. Um, you guys know I don't get a ton of stuff in PR and I actually, I was like on the, I think they send out their PR in like batches and I was like on the later train for this and so I actually bought the palettes when they launched but Kaleidos was kind enough to cancel my order and send me the palettes for PR purposes and I was honestly so stoked because I've been trying so hard not to buy makeup even though I've been failing at it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Their packaging is so cute. If you guys remember, oh here, this is the box that the these three came in was this kind of packaging. It was wrapped beautifully. These boxes are so nice. I don't want to throw them away even though I really don't know what to do with them. This one is so cute because it's colorful too. So it's just so great that they can provide this type of quality. I can't wait to see what this brand does. So it says a message from the future. Do I even really need to undo this ribbon? I don't know. Oh my God, here they are. Can you believe this package has just sat in this same spot for like a month? <laughs> I literally got this, I think it was the day before I flew to Nashville or maybe that week um, before I flew there. And I was like, no, I'm waiting to play with these when I come back from my trip because I just didn't have the time. So here's the box packaging. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I have all my makeup done except my eye makeup. So this is gonna be fun. So here's the first five shades. We have Wired, Digiteal, Tron, Voltec, Force Field, and then Shockwave is the last color. I'll show you that in a second here. <gasps> ah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm freaking out. And of course, I decided to wear a bracelet today, so I better take that off before I get makeup on it. Okay, and then the last shade is Shockwave, which is like a beautiful golden... It's almost like a topper. There's Shockwave. That's gorgeous. So here's the first five. We have Hologram, Easter Egg, Game Over, Boss, Level Up. And then the last shade, which is the neon green, is called Glitch. Let me swatch that for you guys. Here's Glitch. So there's those six shades swatch. So here are the two palettes. Oh my God, they're so beautiful, literally. Let you guys soak it all in. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. This is a palette we're gonna use today. I kind of want to 
oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna start off with the teal shade called Digital. And I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe E22. I'm gonna start off with the dark color and I'm gonna place that on the outer corner. And I didn't really prime, but I do have um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer and my foundation on as well on my lids. I kind of did my face makeup first. So we better <laughs> so we better pray there's no fallout because we're living on a prayer here. <laughs> but it should be fine. I should bake, but I usually don't like to put powder under my eyes. And I just kind of wing it. This color is beautiful and it's blending really easily. Usually I'm a little bit scared when I Pull a dark color into the crease, um, you know, because it's it's always a little nerve-wracking. I feel like dark shades, especially dark colorful shades, jewel tones for me, very scary stuff for my crease. And a lot of you have kind of said the same thing in comments, um, that they look like they have a black eye. <laughs> And I totally agree, that was definitely something I used to be terrified of, um, is looking like I had a black eye. But now I'm a little less worried about it, because I think that's like a personal thing, feeling like you look like a black eye, feeling like you look like you have a black eye, um, versus actually looking like you have a black eye, are two different concepts. Um, and I've gotten to be a lot less afraid of what other people might think of my makeup. I'm so lucky though because everyone around me for the most part has never really judged my makeup style. Like my husband, um, you know, people I work with, nobody, like everyone's always been very positive about the makeup I do, which is great, <laughs> very encouraging. So now I'm gonna grab this dark teal shade called um, Wired and I'm just gonna pop that on the outer corner just to make things a little bit smokier. Darken that up a little and then I'm just gonna blend that into the crease. I was so productive today. I feel me and my husband made some good curry. I went to the gym for the first time in like a hundred years. Um, <laughs> I've been doing all this traveling, you know, so it really kind of like throws you off your schedule when you're out of your house for a weekend. I honestly don't know how people do it. I have a lot of friends that travel, like even just for pleasure. I have one friend, she works for Microsoft, so she travels for work a lot. She's based out of the West Coast, but she's constantly traveling. Like, I don't know how she does it. Um, we were literally in Arizona for that wedding and she had to get on a flight back to California on Sunday and then she was back in Arizona on Monday for work. Can you imagine? It's crazy. Blows my mind. So anyway, I like how the crease is looking. It's very drama. And now I want to put the turquoise shade called Tron on my lid. It's kind of a, you know, obvious choice but I'm okay with that so I just dipped this Morphe M224 brush these are so beautiful oh my god look at that um, I have not wet the shadow I'm just packing it on dry I don't know how I just like held off on using these eyeshadows holy sparkle city that is stunning Oh my god, I feel like a mermaid right now. It's beautiful. Okay, so I want to be a little extra. I'm going to put Shockwave on top of Tron because it's like a golden glitter. And there's a little bit of glitter fallout, but I think I can just dust it off with a my brush that I use to apply my powder with. And then, just to get a little wild, I want to grab a pencil brush 
This is like an old Bobbi Brown brush and I'm going into the shade Vol... Volic? Voltic? Voltic? I don't know. It's like that hot orange. And I'm just gonna poke that right there. I'm just gonna press. I'm not gonna blend. There we go. And then I'm gonna go into Shockwave. And I'm gonna place some of that glitter. Oh shoot, this one you can't really see. As soon as I blend it, the color blends away <laughs> into my skin. Okay, it was worthwhile trying that out. And then to the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take that same brush. Okay, maybe I'll go into the teal shade and just pull that down to help marry the two shades together. Oh my gosh, I love that. It is very crumbly, but I think it's also the brush. So I really like how this look is going. I'm gonna throw some liner on and then I'm gonna put some mascara on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I thought this was pretty easy to do. So if you guys have this palette or you're contemplating picking it up, here is some inspo of a very easy look you guys can do. Overall, I really enjoyed playing with this guy. I can't wait to do more looks with it. I do have a highlight on Kaleidos on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go ahead and do that. My handle, I will leave it down here on the screen, is Karen underscore Harris underscore makeup. And I just show like my daily makeup on there, which is so amazing because I'm definitely more active on Instagram as far as showing makeup looks. And so that way you can kind of see what I'm doing as like a daily makeup look and things like that. But I really love this palette. I knew I was gonna love these palettes because I had such a good experience with the first three. So I'm just so, so happy that I was able to play with these and I will definitely do more videos with these palettes. And if you guys are on the hunt for a new brand to try out, I would totally recommend these. They're gorgeous, they're not huge, so you can travel with them and they're easy to store and just like a really interesting brand, um, very revolutionary. Small palettes are kind of all the rage these days, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. I will link them down in the description box for you guys to find. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!